that shit. I think I did. Oh, oh you did by. <laughs> See, I'm a hoe by default. <laughs> you know, mama ain't raised no hoe. Okay. I'm a hoe by default. How you doing? Woo! Is you ready? <laughs> yes. If you ready for some good time, let me hear you say woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. Yes. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I was twerking the shit a bitch out of breath. You see how fat I am? I can't do that shit. <sighs> do that to myself. God damn, let me take a sip of this. Whew. Glad of day. <laughs> Motherfucking saints. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, you know, I didn't sign up to be a hoe. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hoe by default. What happens is, when you single and you date, where my single ladies at? Woo! Let me hear y'all. Oh, okay. God damn. It's fucked up out here in these streets, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up out here in these streets. Yeah. When you're single, you know you meet a guy and he texts you. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> How was your day? Yeah. You're like, oh ah, shit. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. You're so happy. <laughs> Did a nigga be like, you want to go out to dinner? Mm. Once a nigga take me out to dinner. <laughs> what? That's it. You took me to dinner, nigga? You bought me a taco and a shot of tequila, nigga? On Taco Tuesday? Nigga! Once you get that, you like, oh, why? He about to get this fruit cocktail. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you go home real quick and you wash the fruit cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> bitches, don't forget the fruit. Okay. Some of y'all bitches forget the fruit. Yeah. That should be salty. Mm. <laughs> wash the fruit. <laughs> Niggas don't want to suck on those salty ass titties. <laughs> wash the fruit. Get the cock. You never know what type of night it might be. If I got okay. you, okay. you might want to be with the shit. You gotta be ready. You know? Get you know, all that shit took care of. So you and gave the nigga the fruit cocktail, right? Slowly but surely, there's no more good morning, beautiful. There's no more how's your day. You get a text message at 2 a.m. in the morning like, yo! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, come over, because I'm fucked up and I need some dick. Nigga, come on. You know, but after a couple times, you get tired of that shit. Then once you get tired of that shit, what you do? Move on to the next nigga. Go through the same routine. While you single, you steady collecting bodies out this bitch, y'all. You done turned into a whole gang member. I got like 25 tears on my back. Y'all can't see that shit. I got like 25 tears on my back. These is bloody shoes. Y'all don't even know that. I'm a whole gang member. Gang, gang out this bitch. Okay? That wasn't my plan for my life. I'm a whole by default. I didn't plan that shit. But I'm working on my whole facts, you know? I got a lot of things to celebrate. This week alone has been my birthday, my one year anniversary in comedy. Give it up for that. And I got a new pussy. Hi! Hey. Bitch is like, how you get a new pussy? Oh I got a new pussy. Whole time. You know, I call my mother ass seen on TV. Because we representing the mothers today. Where the mothers at? Okay, I'm representing my mother today. I'm not a mother. Even though I look like I might could possibly be somebody's mother. This is all from snacks and shit. All this from snacks. Fuck what you heard. But, you know, I'm representing for my mother. And um, I call her 
as seen on TV because she buy everything as yeah, seen on TV. First. But I'm her channel. And I'm as seen on IG and FB. You know how they had them ads and shit? You be like, boop. It be like, bye. You be like, boop. <laughs> I did that shit. So one of the things that I bought, though, was these pearls. And they called... Yes. You know about them pearls, bitch. <laughs> them motherfucking pearls, okay? <laughs> so the pearls, right, they call goddess pearls. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell you about it because you want to know about getting a new coochie, don't you? <laughs> yes. I'm saying. Yes. You get the motherfucking goddess pearls and you put them up in your coochie, right? And this is what it did. <laughs> it oh, releases shit. all of the soul. Hallelujah. It's supposed to be like a deep tox. Hallelujah. All the souls from Gucci Pass come out like yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I done got me some of them. So I want some shit right now. Okay. I feel like I'm a virgin. When the last yes. time y'all seen a virgin out this bitch? When the last time? It's like singing a unicorn on Park Heights. <laughs> Motherfucking wreck selling fruit and shit. How about it? I got one of those. Okay. I done gave a bitch a name and all of that. Y'all wanna know her name? Oh shit, yeah. Y'all wanna know her name? Uh-huh. I named the Wakanda. Hey! Hey! Y'all wanna know why I named the Wakanda? Yeah. Wakanda because the first nigga Mm-mm. that gets some of this pussy, Mm-mm. he gonna say, what kind of pussy is this? Hey! <laughs> and I'm gonna let him know! <laughs> it's refurbished, nigga. Okay, okay. like the iPhone. Okay. What? That's what kind of pussy this is. <laughs> Wakanda, well, this bitch shows off though. She shows off and she shows out. Like she is running shit, okay? She told me, delete every nigga in your phone. Okay. So I said, okay, I'll do that. I'll delete every nigga in my phone. But the thing is, hmm, once I deleted every nigga in my phone, let everybody know this guys and gals. Okay. Y'all both know. We all call guys or girls or whomever by what nicknames or uh-huh. more, you know quotes that you know them by. Uh-huh. You know, if I tell my sister Tony called me, she gonna be like, who the fuck is Tony? Right. I gotta say North Avenue. Uh-huh. You know, <laughs> the nigga don't live off of North Avenue when he take his head off his forehead and his long ass <laughs> So that's how we know the nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so a nigga called me the other day. And he's like, you don't know who this is? I'm like, no. You don't know who this is? I finally called him to the voice. But guess what? I didn't know his real name. I knew his clue name. So I'm like, Mousy! Hey, Mousy! He's like, who the fuck is Mousy? Yeah. So the reason why I call him Mouse here is because I went over to the nigga house, right? He lived oh. off of Bel Air Road. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the mice was running a fucking muck in his house. You know? <laughs> I'm sitting there. And you know, usually when you live and the light on and everybody walking around, the mice hide and shit, right? <laughs> Not this nigga mice. This motherfucking mouse came down the goddamn core like this and shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah! I tried to go to the bathroom, the mouse running beside me like, where you going? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> then I look around, you know, because people have mice, it happens. You know, we all lived in the hood one time. Right. This nigga ain't had no traps. Oh. He ain't had no cat. So you cool with these motherfuckers. You ain't trying to catch them. You ain't trying to do shit with them. You cool with these motherfuckers, right? right. They cool that they in this bitch, okay? 
<laughs> never coming over here again. Again. That's why the nigga name is Mousy. Ah! Can't fuck with him. <laughs> you know, she be real. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to make my mama proud. I don't have no kids. I ain't been married. I've been in relationships and shit. I'm dating now. I'm dating. How many single ladies out here dating? Woo! That shit is some bullshit. They do not dot. <laughs> Woo! I fucking hate that shit, y'all. I hate dating. And the thing about it is, you know, for me, I'm a big girl. It's a little bit, little bit harder for me. You know, but I mean, we're in. We're in style. Mm -hmm. I gotta thank my man yeah. Drake for that. You yeah, know, yeah. He said he like his girl's BBW the type to suck your dry and eat some lunch with you. So now all the niggas think I eat dicks for snacks. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They're like, oh, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> you know? It's hard for me. I be trying to date and shit. <laughs> These motherfuckers. I be trying to go somewhere. I'm trying to go out and shit. These niggas act like I'm my 600 pound life and I just pop dicks in my mouth all day. They, they got to cut the fucking wall out for me to come outside and shit. <laughs> Bitch, I can walk. What the fuck? I want to go somewhere. <laughs> they get on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> so I met this dude, you know. And I kept on saying, yeah, where we going to go somewhere? Where we going to chill? And he kept on saying, you can come over here. You come over here. The fuck? And you know we in a day and age of Netflix and chill, fire stick and dick. That's what the fuck goes on. I ain't got cable, but I got fire stick. Bitch! You got all uh, motherfucking Black Panther? You know. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to go over there. And you know, these days when guys caught they ask you shit like, you smoke? <laughs> Do your mama smoke, bitch? <laughs> sometimes, though, sometimes. <laughs> so I go over this nigga house, and he got a half roll blunt of Reggie and a half a pain of Amsterdam. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Soon as I came over there and I seen that shit, I text my sister like, cold red. <laughs> you know what cold red mean? Yeah. Bitch, call me in 15 right. minutes. Right. It's an emergency. I I'm gotta get hard. the fuck on way yes. from here. Yeah. I'm not yes. playing with this nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when I get over there, clearly the nigga knew it was a cold red. <laughs> he put the movie on. He didn't waste no time. He started rubbing the back of my neck. And you know, bitches, you know. When we ain't with the shit with niggas, we interested with whatever the fuck's on the TV. Yeah. I'm all into the TV. I'm like, oh shit, look at her eat this shit on that single bitch. So what is the previews? I'm into it. Get the fuck off of me. But then I start feeling pressure on the back of my neck. his whole dick and balls. <laughs> Right. 
right, right. Okay, if I eat a dick, I ate dinner first. <laughs> this is a snack, my nigga. Okay, it's a possibility that when I ate that dick, if I did, you might wind up with dinner on your dick. <laughs> you might wind up with dinner dick. I'm just saying. And if you wind up with dinner dick, and you at my house, I'ma treat your ass like the movie The Wood. You will walk the backyard and rinse off with the hose. You ain't doing that shit fucking up my bathroom. And then guess what else? You gotta go buy me something else to eat, bitch. I'm gonna throw out my whole goddamn dinner. I need eat meal. Fuck wrong with you? I'm not tired of playing with niggas like that. Niggas play too much. They did it play too goddamn much. You know. And we all we all got issues and problems. You know, we all got issues and problems. You know, anybody real heavy on social media? Y'all like social media? Woo. Nobody don't like social media in here? Woo. That's good. That's real good. I'm heavy on social media, I guess because I'm a comedian and I like social media. But what I especially like is the memes. Y'all y'all know what memes is at least if y'all don't fucking be on social media. Y'all know what memes <laughs> is. The little shits with the words and shit. The memes make it hard for comedians and shit because they tell all the fucking jokes. I'm like, God damn, bitch, what am I going to say? Right, right. You know? But I've been in the house sometimes and I've been scrolling through social media and I done seen some memes that done fucked me up. Make me feel some type of way like, bitch, is, who are you talking to, bitch? Is you talking to me, bitch? I felt some type of way. So I'm in the house one day long week I done work, I done paid all my bills, I got about $20 left, I done went to the liquor store and I done bought me some Amsterdam and some strawberry reader. That's all I got left for, I need to get fucked up and broke. <laughs> so I go get my shit, I'm scrolling through Instagram, and I see a meme. And on the meme, it's Amsterdam and strawberry reader. So I'm like, oh shit, that's what I'm drinking, what is this? So I read the words, and the words say, bitches who drink Amsterdam and Strawberry Rita eat dick all day and got dirty <laughs> dishes in the thing. <laughs> what? What do you mean? First and foremost, I work. So bitch, I eat dick at night. Not all day. Fuck you mean? That's a lie. I got a couple dirty dishes in the sink though. You know? So I feel some type of way. So I go wash the dishes and shit. I go wash the dishes and I come back. I find the meme. I like that shit. And I comment on it. I'm like, hell yeah, old dirty ass bitches. Hashtag dickiness hoes. Hashtag dirty dishes ass bitch. Like it was me five minutes ago. Fuck that shit. I'm not claiming that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You know, it's Mother's Day. Anybody celebrating Mother's Day? Y'all celebrating Mother's Day? That's what's up. I'm not a mother. You know? So I'm just saying, ladies, be careful when you celebrate Mother's Day because niggas will set you up. They set you up. They make you seem like you celebrate Mother's Day, but you celebrate them the whole time. <laughs> You're doing shit for their ass. You know? <laughs> So I'm going to tell y'all a story Because I feel like we family I'm going to tell y'all a story I don't want y'all to judge me I'm going to tell y'all a story About how I almost ate ass By mistake oh. 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 It was by motherfucking I didn't do it Calm down It was by mistake You know I'm the type of female Like you know my mama Raised me as an independent woman <laughs> You know, she looked at me and she said, look, you a big bitch. Niggas is not really going to take care of you like that, like that. 
So you gonna have to be independent of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't feel sorry for big bitches. <laughs> so I got to do what I got to do. But I'm the type of female who I like aggressive niggas. I like manly men, calm back boots yes. to the bit, yes. to the beach ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Aggressive. That's the type of niggas that I like. Especially when we in the bedroom. Yeah. Tell me what you want. That's how a bitch got caught up though, let me tell you. Uh-uh. So I'm in there with my dude one day. So he, we in there, we in the full play stage. You know, I'm doing a little licky licky on the dicky dicky. You know what I mean? So he like, look, go to the bottom of the bed. Okay. He said it real aggressively. So I'm like, oh shit, okay, daddy. Yes. <laughs> I go to the bottom of the bed. He said, hang your head off the bottom of the bed. So I hang my head off the bottom of the bed. Yes, what you about to do? This nigga straddles my face. Okay. He put his dick in my mouth. He bent down, he saw eating my pussy. I'm like, okay, this is cool. This is a new way to do the 69, cause I be scared when I'm on top, like I'm about kill a nigga. I gotta keep checking on this nigga. You good? You what? Okay, can you breathe? You know, I gotta keep checking on this nigga. So I'm like, all right, this is cool. Because I mess with small niggas. I don't like big niggas. I don't like, like, fat on fat crime. I don't like slapping stomachs and shit. I don't do that shit. I'm the big bitch in the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to be small, yeah. in between, yeah. all that. So, he do that. So this is where shit got fucked up a little bit though. He took his dick out my mouth and he put his balls in my mouth. So I'm kind of like, exactly, exactly. And I always was a bitch against teabagging. Cause I thought teabagging was some funky ass shit for a nigga to be on top of your face. Like when I did, you did, we did right there. I'm telling you 
Damn. All right, so real quick, I'm going to hit y'all with one more woo woo's wisdom before I go. Damn. Okay? Oh, my God. My stomach. One more woo woo's wisdom before I go. Oh, my God. Where my ladies at? Let me hear my ladies. Woo! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> That's my woo woo's wisdom right there. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> ladies, I love y'all, and I'm on y'all team. Uh -huh. But sometimes... We need to just shut the fuck up. <laughs> we do. We need to just shut the fuck up. We need to let shit play out. Right. We talk too soon. Soon as something happened. Soon as your nigga liking my all of my pics after this show. You don't know, like, oh, you like that fat bitch woo woo. You like fat bitches with no knees. No. Hold the fuck down. <laughs> Alright y'all, that's my time. I'm out of here. I'm moving with you. Hey y'all!